nature is a fountain of inspiration and exercises an auspicious influence on man. Her motherly presence promises happiness, glory and prosperity. Since the beginning of time, the enigmatic beauty of mother nature captivated the human mind. Out of the desire to imitate the wondrous beauty, aesthetic creations germinate. The magic of spider's web is said to have inspired weaving in Manipur. Weaving is the privilege of every traditional Maite woman. Maite's believe Le Marel, the goddess of wealth and prosperity, entrusted weaving on the women to ensure the well-being of the society. Young girls are initiated at a tender age. In the early days, proficiency in weaving was an essential bridal qualification. Huang Yong is the indigenous loom of the Maitis. It is mostly used for weaving Maik Naibi Panek, a special loincloth for women. Striped pattern of Maik Naibi bears resemblance to a local snake. This Panek serves as the identity mark of Maiti women in their social life. Exquisite embroidery decorates the border of this special loincloth with motives that bear cultural significance. It is believed the tradition of weaving ensures peace, tranquility and development. The sacredness of thread in Maite society is evident from its use during Lai Lakotpa the invocation of the gods. Lai Haraoba is the most important festival of the Metis. It represents the traditional social moral world of the Metis based on mutual partnership and respect between the sexes. It is believed the celebration of Lai Haraoba leads to prosperity, happiness and self-realization. Palm Yanba dance is testimony to the esteemed position weaving has in the culture. It enacts the entire processes of weaving, right from the cultivation of cotton to the offering of the cloth to the gods.
The introduction of fly shuttle was a milestone in weaving history of Manipur. In no time, it became the most widely used loom. Meite women progressed a great deal with the increase in productivity. Instead of weaving for her family, she started weaving for the markets too. Some took to weaving as full-time, while others on a part-time basis. According to handloom census, Manipur is the fourth largest handloom industry in India. It has over 270,000 looms and provides employment to more than 350,000 people, directly or indirectly. Besides exclusivity in weaving, women also play a major role in agricultural activities. In fact, they form a sizable workforce of agriculture. But this is not all. The entire household activity revolves around her. She performs her multiple roles with only a smile. In addition to the valuable contribution, there is yet another dimension. Meda Paibe or torch bearers are unique women's groups to root out social ills and safeguard traditional Manipuri values. Women are thus able to develop a power base and group solidarity in the society. Toy is a typical young Meite girl. Like any young girl her age, one would expect Toy to reveal in the joy of being young. Yet Thoi is already contributing her bit to her family. Motherless girl with an aged father, she shoulders the responsibility of her family. Not only does she earn the livelihood of her family, she also runs a small-scale weaving industry. Mm -hmm. 